why the red blood cells are sickle shaped in sickle cell anemia why not they are spherical or pyramidal shaped or banana shaped or pineapple shaped this is a question number one question number two what is the key problem actually in sickle cell anemia these are the two things we try to explain in this short video session so first question is this that why the cells are particularly sickle shaped in sickle cell anemia now what is the problem in sickle cell anemia you all know that is quite familiar that there is a we have a lot of hemoglobin S, which is an abnormal type of hemoglobin, which is present in these patients. Now, HBS, that abnormal hemoglobin, has a problem. The problem is this, that if you decrease the oxygen in a deoxygenated state, lacking oxygen state, these things, they stick together, they polymerize, they bind with each other, which is a, a fancy term is there, which means polymerize. Now, when they stick together, what happens that all this hemoglobin S, you can think this hemoglobin S like this straw. Imagine this is a straw, a drinking straw. This is one hemoglobin S. Now, if this one hemoglobin S, they polymerize, they make a lot of like these straws, they bind together. What would happen? And also think that red blood cell as a balloon. So if you think that there are five individual these straws are present in a balloon. That balloon would, balloon's shape would not be stretched, it would not be abnormal. But if many of these kind of hemoglobin is, they bind with each other, they polymerize in a deoxygenated state, they would form a rigid rod-like fibers, fibrils. And that would stretch the that balloon. That balloon would not remain its normal state. Here the balloon means red blood cell, and the straw means hemoglobin, one single hemoglobin S. So what is the problem which is happening in sickle cell anemia? That lot of this hemoglobin S, they are binding, sticking to each other, and they are forming a elongated fiber. And that elongated fiber is stretching the membrane of the red blood cell. And they are changing the shape of the red blood cell from biconcave to a crescent shaped, half moon shaped or sickle shaped. And because this is happening, because this all this hemoglobin is, they are polymerizing each other, they are making a long fiber, and that long fiber is stretching that balloon. You imagine that a lot of these things, they bind with each other, they make it elongated fiber, and now this elongated fiber stretch the balloon. The balloon becomes stretched out. And the shape due to this presence of these stretched out fibers, which are made of hemoglobin S, the shape which is taken by that RBC is sickle cell or half moon shape or crescent cell. That is the reason. So what's the point? In a summary, what is the problem in sickle cell anemia? These patients have a lot of sickle HBS, an abnormal type of hemoglobin, which you all know that in sixth position, valine is replaced by glutamic acid. And nowadays it is called seventh position actually. Now, in the, due to this abnormal hemoglobin, what is the key problem? The problem is this, that this abnormal hemoglobin, form of hemoglobin, whenever there is a deoxygenated state, lack of oxygen state, in those conditions, what happens? This hemoglobin, they stick with each other, they polymerize, they aggregate with each other. And when they aggregate with each other, they form a long fiber, which is very rigid. At that long fiber basically stretch the cell membrane of the red blood cell and making it like a half moon shaped, you understand, because they are stretching. This thing is stretching like this the within the red blood cell, the cell membrane. And the shape they take is sickle shape. And that's why the RPCs are not taking other shapes like spherical shaped or banana shaped or pineapple shaped or donut shaped or any other bizarre shape but they're particularly taking this shape because this is the shape where the red blood cell acquires most stab stable position so this is the reason they take sickle shaped now the sickle rbcs are these deformed rbcs they lose their elasticity they lose their flexibility and secondly they are very sticky to the endothelium cell which line the blood vessels. This red blood cells, the sickle cell red blood cells are moving inside the blood vessel and inside the blood vessel, the you know, the inner portion is lined by endothelium. Now, this abnormal RBCs which are made up of this rigid hemoglobin S polymers, 
or aggregates which has given them a sickle cell this rbcs i have now also become very sticky to the lining of the blood vessel so what would happen this blood vessel this rbcs would stick with each other and to the endothelium lining of the blood vessel and this form a small small blood clot or thrombi microthrombosis and that is the reason one of the key problem major life threatening problem like various problems like acute chest syndrome this microvascular occlusion are caused due to sickle cell anemia so sickle cell anemia a major problem is this microvascular occlusion that means small small blood vessels they get occluded why they get occluded because as i mentioned because these blood vessels get clogged by these abnormal rbcs which are made up of this abnormal hemoglobin s and as this abnormal rbcs which are made up this abnormal hemoglobin s these rbcs have lost their flexibility lost their elasticity plus they have become excessively sticky adhering to the blood vessel wall and that is the reason we get microvascular occlusion in the sickle cell anemia patient and this is the reason why they are sickle cell so hope i think this session answers both the question which i asked that why the cells are sickle cell in the sickle cell anemia and why we they cause this microvascular occlusion like complication like acute chest syndrome which i discussed recently thank you so much